march. Stay with us. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Sold out for weeks due to the difficult and extensive proprietary process behind its creation, the exclusive InfoWars Life Secret 12 formulation is now back in stock in the last limited shipment of 2014. The most bioactive form that has been created with our proprietary process. This ultra-clean vitamin B12 nutraceutical has been carefully crafted and developed over the last two years and is based on cellular science of how your body actively absorbs essential nutrients. Secret 12 is taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Vitamin B12 deficiency is linked to scores of serious problems. And Secret 12 is a fusion of two organic proprietary forms of vitamin B12, bringing you a true nutraceutical quality vitamin B12. Secret 12 is an excellent Christmas gift. Secure your Secret 12 formula before December 17th at InfoWarsLife.com and receive it before Christmas guaranteed. That's InfoWarsLife.com before December 17th or by calling 888-253-3139. The average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality. Specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-88-253-3139. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel Body Armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. 2015 is almost here, and with it comes those New Year's resolutions to finally transform your body the way you want it. There's a reason over 88% of New Year's resolutions fail. Make this year different by equipping yourself with Oxy Powder, the next level in cleansing the body naturally. Using Super Oxygenation Oxy Powder, available through InfoWarsLife.com, gently cleanses the body while you sleep with easy capsules. Tens of thousands of individuals have used Oxy Powder to cleanse their bodies and aid in their transformations. Even InfoWars Nightly News Director Rob Dew has been using Oxy Powder with incredible success. Took it that first day, then I took it for six more days after that. 12 pounds melted off in about a week. I'd say a week, seven days. 2015 can be different. Diet and exercise are important, but a lot of us have already tried that. Oxy Powder flushes it out. Secure your Oxy Powder at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. We now take you live to the Central Texas Command Center in the heart of the resistance. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Welcome back to The Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and we just had uh, Joe Biggs in here with us talking about, of course, uh, the torture report, but specifically about what he saw in Afghanistan, as well as... Uh, this PolitiFact analysis of the Man on the Street report. The Man on the Street report is self-evident. How can you say that's not factual? And of course, when they did contact only three of the uh, 13 people, uh, one of them said, well, yeah, I guess it might be kind of wrong uh, to kill somebody up to the age of five. Uh, another one said, uh, I don't have any problem with that. It's complicated. We got a special report coming up from Leanne McAdoo. And of course, we talked about Peter Gruber, before he was lying to the American public and deceiving them on Obamacare, uh, it was John Gruber, I'm sorry. I keep calling him Peter Gruber because <laughs> it was a Peter Gruber Hollywood producer, and I used to uh, be in the video business. So <laughs> I keep calling that, but it's John Gruber, of course, lied to the American public about Obamacare and sold them on that. But before that, he was actually using the kind of arguments that we see being used in abortion clinics all the time. You can't afford this child. If you have this child... It's going to have an awful life, so you're better off just killing this child. That's the way they sell abortions. They talk about the marginal child. That's actually the 
the uh, phrase that he used, and of course, that's an economist's term. We talk about marginal costs and marginal benefits. In other words, we have a fixed cost of our factory. Uh, if we use more material to make more widgets, uh, is that marginal cost going to be offset by a marginal benefit? So he talks about children and tries to do it in economic terms. And of course, telling people as they go into the abortion clinic, this child is going to cost you $300,000 over its life or whatever number they pull out of the air about that, as if you're going to have to come up with that right away, as if that they know what the cost is going to be. You can't put a price tag on life and you can't treat it with the kind of disrespect that we see being done abroad in our name, in our names, in the name of the American people. And of course, as Chris Matthews said, are you, are you going to stop uh, Al Qaeda from torturing if you unilaterally stop torturing? I thought the whole idea was we were supposed to be better than terrorists. We we're supposed to be better than the Nazis. Yet we come to find out that it's the same bankers who start the wars that are above both of them. We find out the CIA created Al Qaeda. They used to call them the Mujahideen. But we also see them whining and dining, bin Laden and uh, Al Zawahiri and the Pentagon until they become useful scapegoats for their agenda. So it all starts with respect for life. And I want to go to this report next from uh, Leanne McAdoo. Let's go to that now, uh, the marginal cost from John Gruber. Obamacare architect Jonathan Gruber is not just satisfied with selling the too stupid American voters a health care law based on deception and non-transparency. No, now Gruber has been exposed as an abortion advocate of the eugenicist variety. Now, during the Clinton years, Gruber co-authored a paper titled Abortion Legalization and Child Living Circumstances, Who is the Marginal Child? He argues that legal abortion had saved the U.S. taxpayer upwards of $14 billion in welfare benefits and that it also lowered crime. He argues that abortion of marginal children is a social good. If these marginal children, or urban poor, had been born, they would have been more likely to live in a single parent household, live in poverty, die in infancy, and be in a household collecting welfare. I was raised by a single mother in low to middle class neighborhood. I even grew up some of those years on food stamps. But according to Jonathan Gruber, I would have been better off if I had never even been born. And this is a lie that they sell to these young women that they might as well just get rid of their children because they'll never be able to make it and they'll never rise up out of poverty. They won't amount to anything. They won't be able to afford it. So this is just a huge lie. and. Let's point out that this is the same exact man who's in charge of drafting our national health care law. So, you know, no need to worry about death panels. And also, remember this. There are also those who claim that our reform efforts would ensure illegal immigrants. This, too, is false. The reforms, the reforms I'm proposing would not apply to those who are here illegally. not true. And one more misunderstanding I want to clear up. Under our plan, no federal dollars will be used to fund abortions and federal conscience laws will remain in place. Turns out that was a lie. According to a new report from the Government Accountability Office, Obamacare is filled with abortion subsidies and plans that indirectly fund the procedure forcing taxpayers to subsidize abortion. And as we've reported before, most of these abortion clinics are set up in black and Hispanic neighborhoods. In New York alone, there were more black babies killed by abortion than were born in 2012. And in New York alone, nearly 78% of all abortions performed were of black or Hispanic children. Now, former abortion clinic director Carol Everett exposed that the industry seeks to find a constant stream of new clientele by infiltrating public school systems. And she also revealed how they specifically seek to target the fastest growing minority groups. Well, I want you to think of this as a business. Mm -hmm. People don't think of it as a business, but they have to expand 
their market. And who is their market? It's the woman who's having an abortion. And so who is the longest-term customer for an abortion clinic? It's a woman early in her teens who is going to continue using abortion as a method of birth control throughout her childbearing years. So they go into the schools. With Our goal was three to five abortions between the ages of 13 and 18. But you cannot just go to these kids when they're 12 and say, I want you to start getting pregnant. So what we did was we worked to create our market by breaking down the natural modesty, separating the children from their parents and their values, and becoming a sex expert in their lives. My commission was $25. My goal was 40,000 abortions a year so I could be a millionaire. Wow. The last month I was there, we did 545. My income was $13,625. Were they s specifically targeting minority groups here in the public schools to get them to become these repeat clients? We just have to look at where their facilities are located. Right. And until recently, there was not a single abortion clinic located in a white middle class area. They were all located in black areas. In 1984, Planned Parenthood came to San Antonio, Texas and hired a Hispanic marketing firm to learn how to market to the Hispanic population, i.e. the fastest growing in the nation and the fastest growing in the abortion numbers and in the teen pregnancy numbers. There you go. That's that report from Leanne McAdoo. Of course, uh, Leanne and I and Joe Biggs, you'll find us all on the nightly news. We have a special going on right now for that. Every year we run a special around Christmas time. This year you get seven months for free, just $29.95. That helps to support our operation. It helps us to send Joe Biggs to exotic places where he can get shot at with uh, rubber bullets and tear gas. If you want to see more of that, uh, support our operation. You can also see... All of Alex Jones's documentaries are available there, and that's one of the best ways to wake people up. So if you want to wake up your friends and family, you can share it with 20 of them at the same time. And, of course, it's a way to keep them informed. Every night, you will get it as it's happening, get the news as it's happening. That's Monday night through Friday night, 7 Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. That's the nightly news, and your subscription to Prison Planet TV helps to support that. And of course, it's $29.95 right now. Now, there's also going to be, Alex is going to be back tomorrow. He's going to have a new special that he's going to reveal that's going to be pretty amazing. But right now, I've got a report from Rob Dew about Oxy Powder. Here's that report. 2015 is almost here, and with it comes those New Year's resolutions to finally transform your body the way you want it. There's a reason over 88% of New Year's resolutions fail. Make this year different by equipping yourself with Oxy Powder, the next level in cleansing the body naturally. Using Super Oxygenation Oxy Powder, available through InfoWarsLife.com, gently cleanses the body while you sleep with easy capsules. Tens of thousands of individuals have used Oxy Powder to cleanse their bodies and aid in their transformations. Even InfoWars Nightly News Director Rob Dew has been using Oxy Powder with incredible success. In your own words, repeat to me what you said this morning and what Oxy Powder did for you. Well, I'll go into a little more detail. Um, back in uh, September, I started. Um, I decided I was going to take it, and I was. I've been hovering between two twenty and two fifteen. Couldn't get any lower than that. You're a big guy. What are you about six three? Six three. Yeah. And you know, in college, I was about one eighty five, one ninety, and I was playing basketball and doing all that stuff. So, I was, and I was really in shape. Over the years, having kids, you slow down a little bit. So I was up to 220. I think the most I got to was 230 at one point, and I started to develop, a, you know, like a double chin. I hadn't really realized it, and I looked in the mirror, I'm like, oh, my God. So I've been trying to watch what I eat, uh, taking different things, and, you know, but I was still, like, at 215. And when we started selling Oxy Powder, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to give it a try. And I started off, I did five pills the first night, and nothing happened. And it says on there, you got to find your dose. So the next night, I did seven. I woke up the next morning. And basically, you're going to be visiting the bathrooms. What I think it does is it goes in there and, like, liquefies the stuff that's inside your intestines, and then it just flows out pretty much. Not to get too graphic, but I did that for six days once I found and that it. stuff's rotting in there, and that's what gives you cancer. Exactly. That, it's diverticula. And, and it gets rid of it. It hurts your immune system. It does all kind of stuff. It just it keeps your digestive system from working properly, all that stuff in there. I took it that first day, and then I took it for six more days after that. And after that, I was down to 202. And now, I, now, how fast did you lose 12 pounds? It was in six, seven days. 
literally six, seven days. You had 12 pounds, 12 pounds of filth. Gone. Went to the beach in early October, and I looked, my wife was like, wow, you look really good. And I'm like, I know, I don't, I, I guess it's this ox 